Posty turned up today with a nice lump of 25mm cast iron bar, which means I can crack on with the cylinder glands. They're a simple exercise in turning and filing, but I'll run through my approach anyway. First job of course is to face off one end, and with that done I move on to turning down the shoulder. I'm looking for an 11mm diameter to suit the cylinder covers. That looks pretty damn good to me, and a quick check with one of the covers shows a nice fit. Next I cut this piece off the bar, turn it around, secure it in the collet chuck and face off to dimension. And then centre drill, drill and remount to 6mm. Next job is to drill the holes for the two packing gland bolts. In my last video I did point out that Don advises that these be drilled first before the corresponding holes in the cylinder covers are drilled and tapped. And as I chose not to follow Don's advice, I'm going to get some pretty serious egg on face if I don't do this correctly. Here I've got one of the covers clamped into the machine vise on the milling table and I run into a really good example of one of the mistakes I spoke about in my last video in that I didn't plan ahead properly. The critical activity here is for me to find the centre of the gland but when I turned it in the lathe I chose not to clean up the outside diameter of the cast iron bar which of course is quite rough, not circular and far from concentric with the shoulder I've turned. Luckily in this case the workaround is relatively simple. For front to back or left to right in this view I use the inside jaws of the chuck and then for left to right or back to front in this view I've inserted a 6mm slot drill into the 6mm hole that I've reamed and I work off that to find the centre. And with the centre established it's a simple case of centre drilling and then drilling out to clearance 2.6mm in this case. And a quick test does confirm that all is good. Bearing in mind, of course, that I would eventually be putting some graphite pack string down below the gland. To finish off, I just need to cut and file the external profile. So that's back some good old fashioned work in the vise. These bits of steel bar you can see here, I've turned to the relevant diameters to help me with both the marking out and the filing. And there we go, a nice little exercise in some basic machine shop practices. Thanks for watching.